My name is Jonathan Chambers. I'm a research uh, geophysicist uh, with the British Geological Survey, uh, working within the geophysical tomography team and other teams across BGS. This is the um, Hollin Hill research site. Um, it's an active landslide. Um, at the top of the hill, um, we have um, a Whitby mudstone formation. So it's a weak, uh, weathered mud rock. Um, this is slipping, failing, um, um, overriding more competent um, sandstone um, um, below. And what we're doing here is using um, cutting edge um, ground imaging technologies um, to characterize um, the structure of the landslide and monitor processes occurring within the landslide. My name is uh, Phil Meldrum. I work as a research engineer at the British Geological Survey. This is the heart of the system. What we have here is the alert system. This is the automated uh, time-lapse electrical resistivity tomography system. Um, what this allows us to do is to do remote monitoring of um, sites. Um, the system itself collects uh, electrical resistivity data from um, sensors which are distributed across the hillside. Uh, measurements are stored locally and then uh, telemetry back to base via a GSM network. Uh, the system operates 24 hours a day and is powered from a battery bank which is enclosed within here. The batteries themselves are charged locally using a wind and solar array. The aim was to allow for remote monitoring, which is unattended monitoring, um, to take out the need for repeat surveys where you have to actually send people into the field um, into re remote locations which takes time and effort. Okay so this is uh, live data that came in fairly recently from the site. Um, what we're seeing here is uh, a range of colours that indicate the uh, resistivity of the, of the materials beneath, beneath the ground. My name's uh, Paul Wilkinson, I'm a theoretical geophysicist specialising in electrical methods uh, working at BGS. This is the, um, these warmer colours here show where the sandstone is and the cooler blues, they indicate the mudstone which is slipping over the sandstone and we can see, uh, see a thin layer of the mudstone here and this is the material that's sliding at the site. But if we put this into 3D visualisation package uh, we can see the results a bit more clearly. So here we've got a combination of some of our reconnaissance surveys and also uh, the 3D block here. This is um, alert data uh, from the site. We're zooming in on this now um, and as we fade this out we're going to see a contour. This is the interface between the slip material, the mudstone and the sandstone and it shows us the, uh, it shows us the extent of this and also the depth and it does this um, throughout the whole volume. It complements the, uh, the sort of traditional uh, survey techniques that we use in the BGS. Landslides are a real problem in that um, they, um, they're, they're a hazard to, to life um, and, and, and to property. So we're doing two things here. Um, firstly, we're seeking to understand um, what's happening at this site in terms of um, why we're getting um, landsliding and ground movement and, and what the structure is of the landslide. Um, but we're also seeking um, to develop this, this cutting edge technology um, for wider applications and for use on other sites. Um, um, so, so other people can benefit, if you like, from technology that BGS has developed. This is the culmination of, of, of several, several years' work. Um, and it's everything, if you like, that's exciting about, about science at BGS, working with a large team of people, a range of specialists, to solve complex um, geoscientific problems.